Welcome back to Sam's Watch Review. In this video, we will continue about the setting for this watch, Casio AW591 or also 590. And yes, if you want to know more about the basic setting, you can check our previous video. And for this one, we will start with the world time. So this is still in the timekeeping mode. Press the mode button once. So now we are in the world time. You can press the forward button to move to the east side of the map. Okay. And then you cannot press the reverse button to move to the west side of the map because now this is a backlight button. Okay. So only the forward button to move to the right side or the east side of the map. Okay. Next, if you want to change the time to have the daylight saving, so for example this one, uh, okay, NYC, if you want to activate the daylight saving, you can just press and hold the adjust button on that CD, okay, and now it is active for the DST daylight saving, and if you want to deactivate, just press and hold again the adjust button, and it will be not active. Okay, next is the timer mode, press the mode button once more this and now TMR the timer so if you want to adjust the time of the timer or the length of the countdown timer you can press and hold the adjust button like this okay and now as you can see here the minute is flashing you can increase by pressing the forward button like this okay and you can also decrease by pressing the reverse button okay if you press the mode button it will move to this one so this is going to be a selection between the auto repeat or only one time for the uh, countdown timer. So if I press the forward button, it will now activate the auto repeat. If I press again, it will deactivate the auto repeat. And then again, press the mode button. Now is the progress paper. If you want it to active, just press the forward button. Okay, on. And if you want it to be not active, then press again the forward button. So it is off. Okay, now press again the mode button and return to the setting of the minute and sadly for this one you can only set the minute you cannot set the second okay if you want to exit from the adjust of the countdown timer you can press the adjust button once and done you can start the countdown timer by pressing the forward button and you can pause using the same button okay you can continue again with that button again with the forward button okay and if you want to pause or stop press again and to reset, press the adjust button once. And done. That's it for the countdown timer. Okay, next we will move on to the next mode. And that is the stopwatch. And for this one, easy. Just press the forward button to start. A moment. Let it focus. Okay, press the forward button to start. And yes, as you can see here, this is hundredth of a second. And this is the minute and second. And you can pause using the forward button. Okay. And then to reset again the adjust button or you can also start here okay and then use this one the adjust button so now we have split time and if you press again it will continue with the time that is running in the background so okay you have the split time and now it continue again and if you want to stop just press the forward button and to reset again the adjust button okay done and that's all for the stopwatch and now for the alarm, press the mode button once again. Now we are in the alarm mode. And yes, it has one, two, three, four. Number five is a snooze alarm. And then a signal or the hourly chime. So now let's start one by one. So for the alarm number one, you can adjust the time by press and hold the adjust button like this. Okay. And then you can change increase by pressing the fourth button. Well, this is the hour. So press this one. Okay, and reverse button to decrease. So, for example, if I want to set at 5, then I press the forward button several times until 5, okay? If I want to change the minute, I can press again the uh, mode button, sorry, mode button, and now I can press the forward button and hold until it shows 30. Okay, 30, so 5.30. And yes, press the mode again, it will move again to the hour. And if you want to just exit from this setting, you can press the adjust button and done. You can press the adjust button when it is on alarm number one. So this one off or on. So you can deactivate by pressing the adjust button. So for example, this is going to be the second alarm, alarm number two. So now I will not set the time, but I will just show you if you want to activate, just press the adjust button. 
or if you want to deactivate, press again the chest button, but not press and hold, just press once. Okay, alarm number three also the same thing, alarm number four also the same thing, and then snooze alarm or alarm number five, you can do the same thing, so press and hold the chest button. Okay, so for example, if I want to set this one as five, five, uh, ten maybe. So next I press the mode button and it will move to the minute. So press the fourth button to increase and you can use the reverse button to decrease. For example, this one, okay. Okay, five, ten. And then press again the mode button if you want to change again the hour, but it's already as I want, five, ten. So I press now the adjust button to exit from the adjust mode of the alarm number 5 or the snooze alarm okay and if you want to deactivate this alarm just press the adjust button so like this same as alarm number 1 until 4 but this one is the snooze alarm next okay let me deactivate so I turn off this alarm number 5 or the alarm for snooze alarm and then next press again the forward button now it is the signal or the hourly chime if you want to activate, just press the adjust button on, or if you want to deactivate, just press again, and it is off now. Okay, and yeah, that's all for the uh, five alarms and one signal. And if you press the mode button again, now it is the handset. For this one, we already covered in the first video about the setting for the analog hands, so we will not talk about it in this video. And then let me press the mode button once again and return to the timekeeping mode. Okay, and yeah, that's all for the settings and also operation for this watch, Casio AW591, also 590. I will put the link to the first video in the description, and yeah, hopefully that will cover most of the question and also most of the things that you need to know about this watch. And yes, thank you for watching, see you again in the next video. Bye!